Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, you hello. can. Hello. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I'm okay, you know, it was raining, right? It was raining a lot. I don't know if it rained yeah. where you live. Yes, right? It was raining a lot. But right now it's not raining anymore. Yes, my house is stopped of raining. Okay, it did stop. Okay. And in your house, Maurice, is it raining? Uh, no, uh, not raining. No, it's not raining. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's see, guys. We are going to start. I think that some of you are going to have some issues, right? Are going to have some issues with the um with the internet connection because of the rain. But okay, we are going to start. Uh, we also have Tony. Good evening, Tony. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Very fine. Excellent. What about your day? Um a lot of busy. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> okay. But it's a great day. It's Friday. Okay. Yes, it's Friday. Are you are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, of course. Okay. Today is first of July. July first. No, today, no, today is June thirtieth. No, tomorrow. Excuse, excuse me. Tomorrow yes. is July the first. July first. Yes. Uh -huh. right. And it's a good day to the for the sales. Ah, all right. Got it. Okay. Perfect. That is cool. Okay. So at least you are going to have some good time, right? Then we are going to start with today's agenda. Today we are going to finish with unit one. And basically we are going to cover different things and we are going to focus on the decline stage from the book. We also have listening quizzes and we have one a quiz about adjectives. And of course, we are going to have a speaking time. Okay. But first of all, we are going to start with the warm up. And as a warm up, we are going to have the following. Let me share with you the screen. Okay. So we are going to guess the summer compound words. Yes. So that means that this word has another word that actually makes a brand new word. For example, in this case, as you can see, we have glasses. So the compound word is sunglasses. Yeah. So what about number two? What do you think is number two? Huh? Compound words. Huh? What do you think? Swimming? Pool? Huh? No. Uh, yes, swimming pool. And that one is a compound noun. Yes. Oh. What about this one? Water? It is a watermelon. Excellent. Watermelon. Okay. Those are compound words. Yeah. Why are compound words? Because if we separate those two words, they create a different word. Yeah. So what about this one? Both flip flops. Excellent. Flip flop. Yes. What about this one? Boat. A speed boat. What about this one? Faster or the excellent sand castle. Castle. Okay. What about this one? Surfboard. Surfboard. All right. Yes. Soft surfboard. What about this one? Water. Is Mm hmm Water? Water gone? Piece. Water, Water gone. Yes, okay, it could be. What about Good this evening. one? Good evening. 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 Good ev
Okay, Atilio. What about this one? Light? Light house. Light house. Perfect. And this one? Jellyfish. What? Excellent. Jellyfish. Yes. What about this one? Mm. Mm. Sun. Um, sun? No. Good evening. Good evening, Vladimir. Uh -huh. Sun? This old people. Mm. Sun burn. Burn. Okay. What about oh, this okay, one? <laughs> yes, Tony, okay. What about this one? Sun? What is she doing? Mm. Yeah. She's taking the sun. The sun. Uh -huh. the... So she is? Sun? Sun? Something? Mm, no, not exactly. But you are near. Mm. So take? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John Ryan, no. Mm -mm. No. No. Some light? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It is going to be sun. Base. Some base. Yes, some bronceate. Base. Yes, some what base. Does mean? Bronceate. Broncearse. Tomar el sol. Uh, bait. Okay. Bait. Tomar, el, okay. Tomar el sol. Okay. Very good. Let's move, guys. Let's move. Okay. So now let's All move right. to the. <laughs> yes. Okay. Tony, okay. Let's start with the main topic for today. And we are going to learn how to handle the decline stage of a product. Yes. And Mayra, can you please help us reading all the information that we have right there? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. How to handle the decline stage of a product. When a product enters to decline a stage of its life cycle, it requires careful management to minimize the, the negative impact and explore potential strate strategies. Mm -hmm. Here are some approaches to handle the decline stage of a product. Yes. For example, elevate the market, cut costs, mm -hmm. focus on loyal customer, liquidation or divestment, okay. modify the product, explore a new market, mm -hmm. develop complementary products or service, monitor competition. Okay, very good. So now let's see. Um, we have guys different approaches, okay? Different approaches um, um, that we can use to handle the decline stage of a product, yes? Uh, first of all, just uh, pronunciation, guys, this one is divestment, all right? Divestment is um, almost the same as um, liquidation, okay? It is almost the same, yeah? Those are synonyms. Then those are some approaches in order for us to handle the decline stage. But now let's cover one by one to understand each better. Okay. Yes, Tony. Teacher, um, yes. please call and um, get back to one slide, please. 
and yes. uh, the word that you explain as liquidation yeah. or divestment, can I use clearance? Yes. Correct. Clearance. Yes. Is that synonym? synonym? It is a synonym for liquidation. Clearance is a synonym for um mm -hmm. liquidation. Um, but divestment, it is liquidation, but in a content, uh, I would say, es como decir desinversión. Divestment. So it's it is even, uh, it is really uh, technical. Uh -huh. Is whenever it's you not sell. This word is mm, that I, I mean, it is common, but es como decir la venta de activos de una compañía. So it is really uh, divestment. And I would say that divestment is more serious than just liquidation. Uh -huh. But isn't a financial term? Correct. Financially, yes. Okay, so let's see. We are going to cover one by one to understand all of them uh, better, okay? So number one, please, Tony. Number two, Maurice. Number three, please, Abigail. And number four, Carlos Omar. Okay, number one, evaluate market. Assess the market conditions including changes in customers' preferences, competitive landscapes, and emerging trends. Identify the specific reason for the decline and gather data to inform decision-making. Yes. Gather. Yeah. What does mean of gather? Uh, in... uh, sorry, Maurice. Give me one second. Uh -huh. Gather means to acquire, to get, reunir. Okay. Yes. Maurice, Thank number two. Okay. okay. Good cuts. Implement cuts reduction, make sure to make profi profitability, mm -hmm. including decline. Okay. This may involve is training operation mm -hmm. optimizing resource rego rego rene renego si trading okay supply contract or reducing marketing expense for the product okay Thank you. Number three. Mm, focus on loyal customers. Identify. 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 Identify and prioritize <laughs> loyal customer who continue to push the product. Implement reflection strategies mm -hmm. such as Personalized offers, mm -hmm. loyalty program, and excellent customer services to keep these customers engaged and satisfied. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Number four. Number four. Uh, modify the product. Mm -hmm. Consider making product modifications or enhance enhancements to reposting to repositions in the market. This could involve admin adding a new feature, improving quality, address customer feedback, or exploring new use case to extend the product lifespan. 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 Okay, guys. Um, probably the vocabulary is kind of uh, new for you, right? Don't worry. So let's see. Evaluate the market. So assess. What is the meaning of assess? Assess is a synonym for evaluate. Yes. Assess. 
evaluate is the same. It is a synonym. So assess the market conditions, including changes in customer preferences, competitive landscape. What is the meaning of landscape? Panorama. Panorama. Okay, landscape means panorama and emerging trends. What is the meaning of trends? Tendencia. Tendencias, right? Tendencias. Identify the specific reasons for the decline and gather and get, obtain data to inform decision making. Yes? <laughs> So this one is evaluate the market, okay? Now, number two, cut costs, yeah? In this case, we are talking about cost reduction, yeah? It says implement cost reduction measures to maintain profitability. What is the meaning of profitability? Rentabilidad. Rentabilidad. During the decline, this may involve a streamlining operations. What is the meaning of a streamlining operations? Racionalizando. Yes, optimizándolo. Correct. Okay. Optimizing resources renegotiating supplier contracts or reducing marketing expenses, los gastos for the product. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes, that one is um, an approach. Yes, that one yeah. is an approach. Mm -hmm. Let's see, number uh, three, focus on loyal customers, yes? Identify and prioritize, prioritize, prioritize loyal customers who continue to purchase, purchase the product. Implement retention strategies, intonation, guys. With that word, you need to improve intonation. Strategies, 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 such as personalized, offers loyalty programs and excellent customer service to keep these customers engaged and satisfied mm -hmm. and this one is correct focus on loyal customers that could be an approach then we also have modify the product consider making product modifications or enhancements what is the meaning of enhancements Mejor. Mejoras, improvements, a synonym for enhancements, improvements, yeah? To reposition the product in the market, yeah? This could involve adding new features, a synonym for feature, characteristics, improving quality, addressing customer feedback or exploring new use cases to extend the product's lifespan. What is the meaning of lifespan? lifespan. La vida útil. Mm -hmm. Lifespan. La vida útil del producto. Yes? Ahí dice product's lifespan. But just life uh, lifespan, vida útil. Yeah? Lifespan. Lifespan. Yes. Okay. So those are the first approaches, acercamientos, right? Uh, type of strategies that we can use to reduce or handle the decline of the product. Yeah? Very good. Okay. Let's move. Okay. Let's move. We also have five, six, seven, and eight. And okay, so help us reading number five, Jonathan, number six, George, number seven, Luis Miguel, and number eight, Wendy. Okay. 
Number five. Is Jonathan there? No, he's not there. Mayra, help us reading number five. Okay. Explore new markets. Look for potential opportunity in different market segment of geographic region. Mm -hmm. Adapt the product to to cater to cater Pattern? color to the needs and preference of this new market, expanding its potential customer base. Okay. Thank you. Number six, develop complementary products of service. Introduce complement complementary products or services that can be bundled or cross sold with the declining product. This can help generate additional renew and increase customer value. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Number seven, liquidation or divisement. Okay. If the client is revisable okay. and okay. effort to revive the product proved unsuccessful, mm -hmm. consider liquid liquidating remaining inventory or devising from the product to minimize to minimize losses and redirect redirect resources to more promising ventures. Thank you. Wendy. Keep a close a on competitors action and response to decline. Analyze, analyze your strategies and clear for from the success. success algo así. Okay. Or, or Failures, it may be necessary to different uh, the product for their or find or find unique set preposition to regain a market share. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. Let's see. Number five is explore new markets. Yes. So with this one, it says that we can look for potential opportunities in different market segments or geographic regions. Yeah, We can adapt the product to cater to the needs and preferences of these new markets, expanding its potential customer base. What is the meaning of cater to? Cater to, guys, is a synonym for satisfy. Satisfy, yeah. It's like saying adapt the product to satisfy the needs and, press and preferences of these new markets. Yeah. So cater to is, um, it is an expression. Okay. That means satisfy. Okay. It is a synonym. We also have develop complementary products or services. Yes, this one is very common. Introduce complementary products or service that can be bundled. What is the meaning of bundle? Bundle means um, like uh, create a package, como paquetes. Bundle means paquete. I think that Tony. Um, I don't know if in your company you have this word, bundle. Yes, with um, internet mm -hmm. plus uh, the satellite cable and, and with the third uh, uh, line, uh, mm -hmm. telephone line. Is yes. A bundle. Uh -huh, correct. Or so with the telephone plus the headphones. The bundle okay. is the, the headphones. Okay, so you see, then in this case, the bundle is un paquete, right? Uh -huh. 
or cross sold. What is the meaning of cross sold? What do you think cross sold? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this when you have a product and you have a similar product to um add to, to add in addition of the of the first one. Um an example, uh, do you have a um a prepaid phone and you, uh, you complement the 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 um, the acquisition that the acquisition the, the, the acquisition uh, acquisition with one um plan post power how do you say plan post power uh, postpaid um, plan postpaid postpaid plan exactly correct or you have a postpaid plan and you get one internet for your for your home correct it's like you a complementary correct yes a uh, complementary sales correct mm -hmm. with the declining product right and this can help generate additional revenue and increase customer value pronunciation value okay Mm -hmm. Okay, then we move to number seven, which is um, liquidation or divestment. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, mute yourself, all right? So liquidation or divestment. Number seven, if the decline is irreversible and efforts to revive, revivir, right? The product prove unsuccessful consider liquidating remaining inventory or divesting divesting okay um from the product to minimize minimize loses what is the meaning of loses pérdidas and redirect resources to more promising ventures okay very good and the last one monitor competition which is mm, one of the the i think the most common right so keep a close eye on competitors actions and responses to the decline analyze their strategies and learn from their successes or failures, it may be necessary to differentiate the product further or find unique, unique selling propose, uh, propositions to regain market share. So meaning uh, oh. those sales. Yes. Okay, so those are actually eight approaches yes approaches and what is the meaning of approaches in this case acercamiento <coughs> similar um as strategies similar okay similar to strategies yeah approaches okay very good now let's move and uh help us read in this part maurice with yes please okay Remember that decline stage is another part of the product life cycle. And not all product can be saved from decline. Mm -hmm. The key is to very full manage decline, explore alternative strategy, and make make informal decision based on the market dynamic and customer need okay yes informed inform. inform. yes inform. strategies okay. say strategies 
Strategies. 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 Uh -huh. Like that. Strategies. Yeah. Okay. Yes, guys. Um, so in this case, we need to remember that, of course, right, the decline stage is a natural part of the product life cycle. It is something that sometimes takes place, right? And not all products can be saved from the decline. And which is the key? Well, to carefully manage the decline stage, you need to explore alternatives or strategies, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The key is that one, is to carefully manage the decline in order for your company or the product, right? To get better results, yeah? Okay, let's move, and now let's move to the book. Yeah, we have four terms, yeah? <clears throat> uh, help us reading this information. Let me see if we have, let me see. I think that I have all of you already. Um, okay, help us reading. Um, Help us reading the first one and give us what do you think is the correct definition for number one, Fatima. Okay, um, obsolescence, mm -hmm. the, the presence of innovative products or service cause customers to change their test, taste and preference. And preferences? And pre preferences. Okay. Um, do you think that that one is the correct definition for number one? Obsolescence? Uh, mm. if, if we don't know, it's okay. Let's move to number two and let's see if we can get number two. Demand don't turn. Okay, so Maurice, what do you think yeah. is the correct definition for the demand down turn? Demand down turn is, mm -hmm. a is a reduction of the customer interested in buying a product or service. Okay, let's add that one, okay? Yeah. yeah. This one, okay, okay. Um, Tony, what do you think about number three? Which one is the correct definition? Change in customer preference. Uh -huh. The presence of innovative products or service causes customers to change their tastes and preference. Correct. That one will be number three. Huh? What about global competition? Um, Mayra? Um, international competition companies may offer better products at up cheap, cheaper yes. price and what and what and with better distribution, which might cause the decline of locally manufactured products. Excellent, very good. That one is number four. So obsolescence. It is? Which one? Um, George, help us read in the definition. A, sig a significant decline in the comp competitiveness or yes. value of, of a product, usually because a more innovative or cheaper one is available. Yes, okay. Innovative, yeah? Innovative. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it says that those can be some causes that generate the decline of a product, those four, yes? More vocabulary for you guys, okay? 
All right, so now let's move and let's talk about this short reading that we have, okay? Uh, okay, help us reading this information. Um, Nelly, are you there? Yes. Nelly, can you please help us um, reading the first and the second paragraph and Carlos, the last paragraph. Okay, um, 12 years and 26, the device letter, the generation defining iPod range looks like it's about fade into its history without so much as a whimper. I think all of you, all of us, have known for some time that I, iPad is a declining business. Say Apple was Tim Cook in 2014, discussing the company's latest earnings report. Mm -hmm. He announced massive profits as okay. ever, but noted that Apple sales had dipped 52% down this time in 2013 with Horner drops except expected. The iPod has been nervously looking over its shoulder for some time when the iPhone was launched in 2007. Um, she jobs Jack that it was the best iPod. Steve Jobs <laughs> jumped that it was the best iPod we've ever made, and he was right. With its apps and other smartness, the iPhone meant there was no longer any need to own an iPad as a separate device, so long as you could aff afford it. Apple was afraid to create a product that would disrupt a successful, exciting business. Apple thought if we don't do something, someone else will. Mm -hmm. Carlos? Okay. Um, and even today, despite that dramatic, uh, 52% fall, the iPod range still generates big revenues. No sé cómo se pronuncia. 973 million. Mm -hmm. But uh, 973 millions out of Apple's total revenues is just a minor sideline side or a technology news side. The bears put it a hobby, which leads most people in the nose that in the nose to predict that while Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the very near future. Mm -hmm. We're we're unlike to see any kind of significant on day of the device. Okay. All right, guys. Um, this short um, excerpt, what is the meaning of excerpt? Fragment. Okay. Fragment. Yes. So it's basically about the decline of Apple's iPod. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So, and as you can see, we have different uh, stages as well. Okay. It says that we should go online, but we have all of them right here so we can understand them better. Okay. So, when we are talking about lower price, what do we mean by that? Can you please help us reading this information, George? Lower price, a lower price strategy, also known as a price based strategy or discount strategy, mm -hmm. involves set settings prices lower than comp competitor competitors' prices in order to attract customers and gain a competitive advantage. Example Walmart is now for its low prices position 
positioning. The company offers a wide range of products and com competitive prices, aiming to provide affordability, affordability and value to customers. Very good, okay? Well done. All right, so in this case, guys, um, well, lower price, the, the name says, right? It is very understandable, right? Lower price. So it is the strategy uh, that some companies use, yes? And the example, one of the example is Walmart, yeah? So Walmart is known for its low price positioning. Mm -hmm. Since the company offers a wide range of products, right? They offer those products at competitive prices. What is the meaning of aiming? Aiming means pointing out, apuntando, right? A que apunta Walmart to provide affordability and value to customers. Yeah, affordability. Yeah. What is affordability, teacher? Uh, it is like saying um, economicamente, algo económico. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Yes. Correct. Affordability, right? It is very important, I think, sometimes, right? It depends on the product that you are buying. But Walmart uh, does offer affordability, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let's move and let's talk about this one, repackaging. What is repackaging? What is it? Okay. Mm, yes. It could mean that, but you know, as a strategy, a repackaging is going to be a, like renovar, renovate, como renovar la imagen de algo, como when, uh, in marketing. Huh? Only the label, uh, the um, the it's image. Not the, um, okay. Mm -hmm. when, and let let's I... see the example, huh? When I change uh, the packing, any product, uh -huh. new packing. Yes, it's like renovate the image. Uh, of, yeah, renovate, renovate. Uh, it's like renovate, repackaging. Okay, Tony, help us read in the definition and the example. Okay, repackaging involves modifying the package, the packaging. Packaging. of a product to enhance its appeal, uh -huh. functionality, or market positioning. Yes. Example, Coca-Cola frequently redesigned its packaging to keep the brand fresh mm -hmm. and relevant. They introduced limited edition packaging for special occasions or collaborate with artists to create unique bottle designs, attracting customers' attention and generating buzz. Yes, like buzz, right? Buzz. buzz. Yes, buzz. And what is the meaning of buzz? Buzz is como ruido. Ajá. Es como un alboroto. Es como una emoción. Generating buzz. Generando emoción. Generando alboroto. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. So Coca-Cola is an example of repackaging, right? So they frequently redesign its packaging mm -hmm. to keep the brand fresh and relevant. Uh -huh. And they also introduce limited edition packaging for a special occasions or collaborate with artists. Uh -huh to create unique bottle designs. And well, this attracts uh, co consumers' attention and also it generates buzz. Alboroto, causa alboroto, right? 
Uh -huh. That could be one of the strategies that they use, the repackaging, right? Yes, I remember that there was a, a cherry Coca-Cola long time ago. Mm -hmm. I, I remember it was pink. Cherry with different bottle. Mm -hmm. More smaller and white. Correct. Uh -huh. So they use this strategy. Okay, let's move to the next one, which is discontinuation, right? So let's see, uh, help us reading this, please, uh, Mayra. Okay, discontinuation, also known as product discontinuation, refers to deliberate decision of a company to cease the production, distribution, and sale of particular product or product line. This is a strategy is often implemented when a product is no long is no longer profitable. Profitable. Okay. Fails to meet customer demands or no longer aligns with the company strategy goals. Mm -hmm. Example, Kodak, a renowned photography, photography company, face challenge with the rise of digital photography. This bit being a pioneer in digital imaging technology, the company is strug struggling to adapt mm -hmm. and eventually file for back. Group side. Okay. Kodak discontinued various film products and shifted its focus toward digital cameras and printing solutions. Thank you. Okay. So in this case, guys, um, we have discontinuation, right? So in this case, um, we have the example of Kodak. Right. This one is a renowned. What is the meaning of a renowned or renowned? Okay, renombrado. Yes, de alto nombre. Algo que sobresale. Renowned, reconocido, renombrado. Right. Mm -hmm. Photography company. Yes. Right. A renowned photography company. A renowned a what publicity company a renowned telecommunication company a renowned right that has a big impact so faced challenges with the rise of digital photography and that is correct i'm pretty sure that most of us remember that right despite being despite a pesar de despite being a pioneer, pionero, yeah, pioneer, in digital imaging technology, the company struggled, struggled, okay, to uh, problemas, right? Tr struggled to adapt and eventually filed for bankruptcy. Yeah, in this case, bancarrot se fue a la quiebra. Yes. Kodak discontinued various film products and shifted. They shifted, right? Cambiaron todo. It's focused toward digital cameras and printing solutions. This one is an example of discontinuation. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we also have innovation. What is the meaning of innovation? Okay, help us read in this one, Wendy. Is Wendy there? Thank you, Stai, Tisha. Thank you. Repeat, Tisha, please. Yes, uh, read innovation this part uh, so refers innovation 
refer to a deliberate approach or play adopted by, by a company to foster and drive innovation mm -hmm. with high with him with him its organization it innovates involves involves identify a mm -hmm. new idea ideas ideas technology and um, processes processes mm -hmm. that can lead to development of innovate products service or business model models thank Model. you okay yes innovation yeah innovation innovation. Mm -hmm. innovation yeah so this one basically it says that it refers to a deliberate approach or a plan adopted by a company to foster what is the meaning of foster guys foster mm -hmm. Foster can mean um, promover, fomentar, okay? To foster, foster, promover, yes, fomentar, and drive innovation within its organization, yeah? We need to foster this type of product. We need to foster this uh, new idea. Yeah, promover, fomentar. Yes, it involves identifying new ideas, technologies, and processes that can lead to the development of innovative products, services, or business models. Something that I have noticed, guys, and this is uh, in general, Whenever we are talking about um, plurals, whenever we have probably ES or S, you sometimes do not pronounce those plurals and we need to pronounce them. Every time that you see, and listen to this, every time that you see the plural with ES like this one, you need to pronounce it like processes, processes. This sounds like IS, processes, yes? And when you see the S, just products, services, right? Models, involves, but you need to make the pronunciation, okay? Uh -huh. uh, which is the example that we have for innovation? Help us reading this, please, uh, Mayra. Okay. Apple has consistently introduced innovative products that have revolutionized okay. Okay. <laughs> the tech yeah. industry. Yes. From the iPod and iPhone to the iPad and Apple Watch, Apple has been at the forefront of introducing introducing. Yes. New and groundbreaking customer electronics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, revolutionize. Revolutionize. Excellent. Like that, okay? Um, it says that Apple has been at the forefront. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of being at the forefront, guys? Forefront. What is it? Forefront. Forefront means estar eh, en primera línea, en la primera fila, la vanguardia. Apple has been at the forefront, en primera línea, a la vanguardia. For example, um, your company has been at the forefront, right, of a, I don't know, um, advertisement, right? Advertising, um, marketing, whatever thing. Estar a la, a, la, a la vanguardia, okay? A primera, en primera línea. Forefront. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, it says of introducing new and 
groundbreaking consumer electronics. Ah, this one, okay? This one is consumer, guys. It's not customers. I know that sometimes you say customer. It's the same. It's the same, but it's consumer, okay? And it is. it exists, okay? So, and groundbreaking. What is the meaning of groundbreaking? Innovadora. Mm -hmm. um, it could be also a synonym for pioneer, como pioneros. Mm -hmm. Pionera, pionero. Groundbreaking consumer electronics, right? Son los, los que le gusta bastante todo lo del electrónico. Los pioneros, los, los que van siempre y van a comprar lo que está a la vanguardia. Lo tecnológico. Ah, no, Correcto. Ajá, lo tecnológico, sí. Todo lo electrónico, todo, 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 todo. In marketing have a number, a, a, a name, a peculiar name. They are the, the not the innovator, uh, is the, um, uh, I don't remember the, the name. But is the the um, the person that like to prove all the new products that like to feel teach and 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 and, uh, and buy the the uh, no is the, the latest technology. technology. I think that this is a, a new one. Yeah, it's the latest technology. I think that is a in Spanish is another noun, but but ah, I the, think that that I know the term that you are. I think that those are called. Um, yes, they have a name. Mm -hmm. um, let me find. Yes. I think that Carla may know. I think that those are geeks. Yes, this is the name, the geeks or the Geek. geekers. Yes. Uh -huh. I think that, yes. Okay. All right. That is the name of those type of, uh, of people, right? Yeah, that is correct. Geek. Yeah. Very good. Innovation, guys. Okay. And the last one, which is co-branding. What is co-branding? Okay. And um, help us reading this information, Nelly. Okay. Uh, Co-branding. Co-branding refers to a marketing strategy in which two or more brands collaborate and combine their res resources to create a joint, a joint, joint product, yes. service, or marketing campaign. Yes. It involves the strategic uh, partnership between two established brands to leverage their brand equity. 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 Cos mm -hmm. equity. Customer yes. base and market presents for mutual benefit. Yes. Okay. Um, well, the co-branding, this one refers to a marketing strategy in which two or more brands collaborate and combine their resources to create a joint product. A joint product is un conjunto de productos. Yes. Es otra manera de decir como un bundle, pero depende del contexto. En este caso, eh, vamos a utilizar a joint product, which is general. Yes. So to create a joint product, un conjunto de productos. Yes. Service or a marketing campaign. Uh -huh. It involves the strategic partnership. What is the meaning of partnership? Any idea? Partnership? Tipo um, patrocinadores, algo así. Mm. O ajá, trabajo entre dos compañías. Okay. Um, um, sorry? Camadería. Yes, it is like saying um, the partnership is como una sociedad, como una uh -huh. asociación. Uh -huh. But, um, for example, cuando decimos tenemos partnership con tal compañía. 
Yeah. Tenemos una sociedad, estamos enlazados. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, to leverage their brand equity, customer base, and market mm -hmm. presence for mutual benefits. Okay. So, what is the meaning of leverage? Es como decir, um, como hacer una palanca, como un puente. Okay. Entre dos compañías. Leverage. And the example is very, um, I would say, understandable, and we know this, okay? Because we have eaten, right, at McDonald's before. So it says that McDonald's plus Coca-Cola, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. McDonald's, a global fast food chain, has a long-standing partnership. What is the meaning of long-standing? Long-standing mm -hmm. partnership. By a long time? Yes. Uh -huh. De toda la vida. Han tenido una asociación de toda la vida. Long standing means de toda la vida. Okay? De toda la vida. So uh, it has a long standing partnership with Coca-Cola. And that is true. A leading beverage company. Coca-Cola beverages are exclusively served at McDonald's restaurants worldwide. Creating a strong association between the two brands. Yes, and that is co-branding, okay? So whenever you go to uh, McDonald's and you drink Coca-Cola, that is co-branding, right? Strategies, okay? Um, okay, guys, very good. So basically that is the information that we are going to cover today, okay, related to the book, okay? And right now, what we need to do is that we need to work on this assignment. Yes, on this assessment, okay, from the book. But first, we are going to take the first listening quiz. And I'm going to take the attendance, yeah? So let me take the attendance first, and then I'm going to send the link. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Mm. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. I think that Eduardo. Yes. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Emerson is not here. Fatima Pre Gabriela. Present, teacher. Teacher, present. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present, miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Juan José. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Good evening. Yes, thank you. Good evening. Okay. Let's see. Let's start with the first quiz. Let me send the link. Um, there you go. Okay. The passcode is the same. Listening, capital letters. <clears throat> Listening, capital letters. And that one is the first quiz that we are going to take. And then we're going to move to the um, activity from the book. Okay. Let's see. Let me know once you are ready so I can play the recording.
Okay. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to play it three times, but pay attention, okay? Pay attention to this one. Okay, here we go. Hi, welcome to Heavenly Pies. May I take your order? Uh, yes, I'd like the chicken fried steak. Okay, would you like fries, bread, or rice with your meal? Hmm, I'll take the rice. Would you care for anything to drink? Yeah, I'll take a medium orange juice. I'm sorry, we only have large or small. Well, in that case, uh, I'll have a small one. Okay, a small juice. And what kind of dressing would you like with your salad? It comes with the fried steak. What dressings do you have? We have French, Italian, blue cheese, and ranch. Oh, ranch, please. Would you like anything else? Well, I'd like to see your pie menu. That's the main reason why I like to dine here. Oh, I'm sorry, but we aren't serving pies today. Huh? I thought this was Heavenly Pies restaurant. Well, it usually is, but Dave, our baker, slipped on a banana in the kitchen two days ago and hurt his leg. Wow. He'll be out for at least two weeks. Hmm. In the meantime, we're serving ice cream sundaes instead. Sorry. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, well, in that case, I'll have an ice cream sundae. Okay, I'll be back with your order in a few minutes. Again, the second time. Hi, welcome to Heavenly Pies. May I take your order? Uh, yes, I'd like the chicken fried steak. Okay, would you like fries, bread, or rice with your meal? Hmm, I'll take the rice. Would you care for anything to drink? Yeah, I'll take a medium orange juice. I'm sorry, we only have large or small. Well, in that case, uh, I'll have a small one. Okay, a small juice. And what kind of dressing would you like with your salad? It comes with the fried steak. What dressings do you have? We have French, Italian, blue cheese, and ranch. Oh, ranch, please. Would you like anything else? Well, I'd like to see your pie menu. That's the main reason why I like to dine here. Oh, I'm sorry, but we aren't serving pies today. Huh? I thought this was Heavenly Pies restaurant. Well, it usually is, but Dave, our baker, slipped on a banana in the kitchen two days ago and hurt his leg. Wow. He'll be out for at least two weeks. Hmm. In the meantime, we're serving ice cream sundaes instead. Sorry. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, well, in that case, I'll have an ice cream sundae. Okay, I'll be back with your order in a few minutes. Okay, the last time, okay, just in case. Hi, welcome to Heavenly Pies. May I take your order? Uh, yes, I'd like the chicken fried steak. Okay, would you like fries, bread, or rice with your meal? Hmm, I'll take the rice. Would you care for anything to drink? Yeah, I'll take a medium orange juice. I'm sorry, we only have large or small. Well, in that case, uh, I'll have a small one. Okay, a small juice. And what kind of dressing would you like with your salad? It comes with the fried steak. What dressings do you have? We have French, Italian, blue cheese, and ranch. Oh, ranch, please. Would you like anything else? Well, I'd like to see your pie menu. That's the main reason why I like to dine here. Oh, I'm sorry, but we aren't serving pies today. Huh? I thought this was Heavenly Pies restaurant. Well, it usually is, but Dave, our baker, slipped on a banana in the kitchen two days ago and hurt his leg. Wow. He'll be out for at least two weeks. Hmm. In the meantime, we're serving ice cream sundaes instead. Sorry. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, well, in that case, I'll have an ice cream sundae. Okay, I'll be back with your order in a few minutes. Okay. Let me see your scores. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. I see that most of you got 100, okay? Perfect. Let's take the second one, okay? Let's take the second one. Let me send it. Um, okay, there you go. Same thing. Full name and passcode listening, capital letters. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, same thing, I'm going to play it three times, okay? Dad, will you read to me? 
Uh, let me finish the newspaper first. You've been saying that forever. Well, how about reading the business section of the newspaper together? That's boring. <laughs> Let's read this book. It's about a bear and a cat that becomes friends. Okay. And these books too. Wow! I thought you said one book. There must be ten here. My teacher, Mr. Screen, said you have to read to me every night, and the newspaper doesn't count. And let's eat some popcorn and cookies while we're reading. Well, it's bedtime right now, so okay, here we go. Once upon a time, in a deep, dark forest, lived a brown bear. Okay, the second time. Dad, will you read to me? Uh, let me finish the newspaper first. You've been saying that forever. Well, how about reading the business section of the newspaper together? Boring. <laughs> Let's read this book. It's about a bear and a cat that becomes friends. Okay. And these books too. Wow! I thought you said one book. There must be ten here. My teacher, Mr. Screen, said you have to read to me every night, and the newspaper doesn't count. And let's eat some popcorn and cookies while we're reading. Well, it's bedtime right now, so okay, here we go. Once upon a time, in a deep, dark forest, lived a brown bear. Okay, the last one, the last sign. Dad, will you read to me? Uh, let me finish the newspaper first. You've been saying that forever. Well, how about reading the business section of the newspaper together? That's boring. <laughs> Let's read this book. It's about a bear and a cat that becomes friends. Okay. And these books too. Wow! I thought you said one book. There must be ten here. My teacher, Mr. Screen, said you have to read to me every night, and the newspaper doesn't count. And let's eat some popcorn and cookies while we're reading. Well, it's bedtime right now, so okay, here we go. Once upon a time, in a deep, dark forest, lived a brown bear. Okay, submit your answers. I got yours. Let me see. Okay. Uh huh. This was more that more difficult than the previous. Right. <clears throat> uh huh. Okay, maybe because of the girl. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Chirian, Chirian, Chirian <laughs> voice, and it's so fast to talk. And okay. some words is it's confused to listen yeah. very well because of her voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is true. Okay, but um, mm -hmm. I can see that. Yeah, it was more difficult than the previous one but okay don't worry guys let's see let's move to the activity that we need to complete today so basically what we are going to do is the following okay it says group work identify the strategies apple has applied to deal with the imminent decline of the ipod yeah so you need to list the strategies all right apple has applied to deal with the imminent decline of the ipod yeah list them and then you are going to choose a national product or service in his decline stage yeah and you are going to discuss possible strategies that the manufacturing or distributing company could apply yeah all of the things that we have covered and what advantages would those strategies bring to the company yeah, so we are going to work on this. I'm going to assign you to different breakout rooms and you are going to then present your work here in the main room, okay? So let me open all the rooms and you can go ahead and work, yeah? Let me see. Okay. I got.
Hello. What we do? <laughs> what we do? Um. What page in the PDF? Um. We are on the page fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Yes. A national product service? No, the first one is identify the strategies Apple has applied to deal with the imminent decline Apple. We, we, we have created a list. Three or, or four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, the, uh, This is strategic. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. This one. Wiper. I don't remember why yeah. it's wiper. 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 It's como suspiro. Suspiro, murmullo, o queja. Más que un suspiro. Mm -hmm. I think all of us have known for some time that Apple is a decline in business, said Apple boss mm -hmm. Dean Cook in 2014, yeah. discussing the company's latest earning reports. We announced massive profit. I think all of us have known for some time that Apple is a decline in business. ¿Cómo sería? Ya no existe. Doesn't exist. <laughs> It's the paragraph that I was reading. Correct. Yes, you can also focus on that one, on the short reading. Mm -hmm. Yes. That one, that one. That one card, yes. Okay. That oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They create a, a other product. Innovation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because uh, In this moment, Steve Jobs created the iPhone. Fusion, mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Fusion no. the iPod in the phone. Uh, so yes, it could be. Development or. The enhancement, right? Oh yeah. The enhancement or the modify of the product. Uh -huh. And maybe this continuation. Okay. But um, right there this uh, Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the to create a group that will disrupt a successful existing business. 
Mm -hmm. Apple throw is we don't do something, someone else will. Si no hacemos alguien, alguien más lo hará. Uh -huh. Never today. Si no hacemos alguien. Si no hacemos algo, algo más, alguien más lo hará. Alguien más lo hará. Ajá, sí, pero tiene sentido. Sí, me estaban corrigiendo aquí, pero está bien. <laughs> And error today, despite the dramatic 50 to fall, the hyper range still generates big revenues. O sea, a pesar de eso, sigue generando. Todavía genera ganancias. Buenas ganancias. 973 <laughs> millones, creo que es millones. Sí. Yeah. But 973 millones out of Apple's total revenues is just a minor sideline or as a technically new sites, the Birch put it a hobby, which leads most people in the know to predict that with Apple may not discontinue the iPod on the very near future. We're <laughs> unlikely to see a kind of significant update of the device. Pero la fecha no ha vuelto a poner otro nuevo, quiero ver. No. No, no hay otro. No. Pero sí generando pisto. Ok. Identify the strategies Apple has applied to deal with the imminent decline of the iPod. Mm. Thinking about this reading, I think that Apple... It doesn't matter the iPod. But he don't do anything. Mm. I think uh, we should a uh, product of of El Salvador to for to create a um, uh, strategy. Okay. Like a similar. with a similar mm -hmm. problem, issues, with a decline of sales. Okay. Maybe biggest hamburgers? Oh. Y todavía uh, hay biggest. <laughs> yes, <laughs> only, only three. Only, no, only one. No, only no, no, no. The, the highway, no, no, this is not the highway, this the San eh, Aguilares. The street, no, no it's closer. Ya cerraron. It's closer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um, to the street, uh, the street to the to the port. La, La Liberty Port. port. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Liberty <laughs> Port. <laughs> the Liberty Port. Thank you. It is the only one that is open to, uh, today. Um. Maybe this or. Um, uh, the the competence of McDonald's, Mac de Serve Pronto. Mm, Mac de Serve Pronto. But we need to explain that um, one one company that is does not exist or that exists. Um, Only biggest. Mm -hmm. Is in the in the decline of the stage? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The another one is Pollo Bonanza, but he resists to die. Yes, but uh -huh. the people like that chicken. I don't know why, but. Um. Okay. Choose another. Uh, the 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 biggest biggest restaurant. Restaurant. What another? Uh, Is it even exist? Something uh, else? Uh, uh, maybe. Mr. Donna? Mm.
products or service in this design stage. <laughs> Um, oh, in my in my job, maybe uh, cars, cars, paper cars, or wearing cars, Physic, physical, because many people wants to uh, send a uh, image yes and newspaper uh -huh. yeah the newspaper mm -hmm. you have a the reason. newspaper yes ah uh, pues hijo the newspaper product the newspaper But it's expensive. <laughs> no, uh, no, I think that um, the reason is um, we have everything online. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, you you can read the news in in your phone, in your computer, yeah. and uh, the information is uh, very quickly because. When make uh, a a situation or 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 any information, you can read or you can see uh, more more fast because the newspaper and create in the day for the next day. And right now, you can, um, I don't know how the, do you say, um, enterarte, enterarse? No. no. You can, you can, or find out. Right. Ah, okay. You can find out uh, in, in, in the mom in the moment or, or very fast. But I, I I don't know because it, it, imagine in in this country for example you can uh, the newspaper in in uh, la prensa gráfica for example but this company has a a, a fan page and you can read the same information in your phone that uh, in the in the paper the next day i i don't know for me is is illogic um, uh, for I... for example i'm sorry <laughs> Nelly. No, no, i think that he, um they sell subs uh, a subs subscription to read online. Yeah. Yeah. So newspaper online. And right now you can you can read in in uh, online. You can read the notice for the other countries. The news. The okay. Mm -hmm. The news for the other countries. Mm -hmm. For example, in my work, I have a uh, co-workers. Uh, he is a. Uh, he's from Honduras, and Honduras. in the morning, in the morning, uh, I can see uh, he reads the the mm -hmm. uh, news for this uh, for his country. Okay. One uh, strategy, maybe, for example, the 
diario de hoy. Eh, eh, it had a subscription about thirty dollars for months. Yeah, the low the uh, the strategy maybe the the low prices because right now the people uh, he he don't he uh, he um, um I think the demand is is less and maybe if if uh, they put the uh, the prices is is um less or or lost prices well, I don't know uh, right now I um I don't know but I can uh the cost is um fifteen cents for the for the newspaper. No me no news. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. But I think uh, if uh, they made um um yeah if 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 they uh, apply this strategy maybe the people buy more than the newspaper mm -hmm. i don't know or maybe maybe have um I don't know if co-branding is right or or um partnered with uh other brands or companies for uh give to the subscriptions coupons or gift to mm, co-branding is the name to uh for reading um their newspaper mm -hmm. and maybe maybe sometimes um they can uh have have a surprise for consumer mm -hmm. in in the newspaper and maybe that uh can motivate it motivate it okay, I can motivate yeah can motivate to people from mm -hmm. with the newspaper. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> or or rewards. Yes, or rewards. I remember when I was a child. Um I I I always um asked to my my dad mm -hmm. um bought me a newspaper because in there um are uh his, his, his stories historietas comics uh, sitcoms like comics, comics yes yes comics and sometimes uh that had a gift for for kids <laughs> mm. Okay. Se coleccionar. Uh -huh. I oh, <laughs> rewards. It is rewards with W. Oh. Instead of G. Uh -huh. <laughs> <¿Qué puse? laughs> okay. Okay. Don't worry. Rewards for. Uh, maybe give, maybe some gift, sí. mm -hmm. Or this cone that they can uh, change in um, different, uh, maybe a restaurant or coffee shop or stores. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, my difference. Okay. The factory is continuous today. Don Pedro, Don Pedro Cafe, mm -hmm. and this is this is the the, the place and. And is famous for all the all the persons that need something to eat or drink at higher hours in the night. And <laughs> it's like a chupadero, but uh, um, chupadero, chupadero, uh, with a large experience uh, in Boquitas, uh, the most famous um, famous fa famous <laughs> the most famous. <laughs> Uh, plate is the the uh, club sandwich is enormous club sandwich mm -hmm. with affordable prices and in the morning is uh, so famous too with uh, the breakfast uh, with yeah. lower prices and uh, good for or the all the people that have drunk it and yeah. and the goma uh, <laughs> the, the real reason for the the Don Pedro Cafe, um, yeah. and recently is twenty four hour. And in my days that yeah. I am, I was a, 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 a wild and young. free and young. When, when I was very very young, uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh -huh. and served to the ten p.m. at the ten p.m. Yeah. Uh, they leave they um, subían o, o levantaban uh -huh. polos. The, he, Don Pedro Cafe have a, any problem. Uh, what do you say? Clonan tarjetas de crédito. Teacher? Clonar. Uh, clone. clone. Uh, or, or duplicate. Uh, duplicate. Duplicate. Uh, uh, credit card. Oh my problem. gosh. In the cost. Mm. Ah, this 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 experience is for the the people that continue to visit them. Higher <laughs> <laughs> hour, hours in night. <laughs> innovation. Okay, okay. innovation. Okay, Don Pedro, maybe is a a innovation an innovation strategy. Okay. Like ashamed of all the menu. Maybe or maybe it's possible that close all the restaurant and have a uh, air conditioner uh, uh, spaces and okay. um focused more to the focus to family. Sorry. Focus on focus on mm -hmm. uh, familiar. Familiar, mm -hmm. uh, um, familiar stage environment. environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe them. it is. Maybe it is one it's a, a way. Okay. El dije 15, no me acuerdo haberlo visitado, pero seguro si era barato llegaba. Okay. Y farmacia en las Américas. Farmacia en las Américas. Is this it? This this pharmacy, um, it was the most renovated reno reno. ¿Cómo dijo que se decía renombrado? Renown. Renown pharmacy in San Salvador because it was in front of the um, uh, El Salvador del Mundo, and um, they have uh, a, a a huge space in the. Um, I don't remember what how how is the name of this building. Um, continues to the Texaco um, gasoline. ¿Cómo se dice gasolina? Gas station. Gas station in in front of Salvador del Mundo. Um, but uh, they have a very large um, um, 
kind of product of medicine and affordable prices. But when it's coming the, um, the Pharmacia San Nicolas with, uh, with Economic, special uh, efforts, sorry? If, uh, Farmacias Económicas. Farmacias Económicas too. And what is the other? Uh, Farmacias Uno. He declined the sales and yeah. Yeah. Uh, because they don't have um, a different branch, only have one, two or three branches in all the, uh, San Salvador. And this is the, the reason that um, they don't expand the sales of, of uh, the branches of sales. And this is the, the, the most common um, problem when you don't expand the time and the competition and the other companies um, grow very fast in the in the market. Tony, mm -hmm. the Farmacia Las Americas, they still have 10 branches. 10 branches? In San, yes, 10 in San Salvador. I, I search in Google. And what do you know about Farmacia San Nicolás? Ah, okay. Farmacia San Nicolás. I'm looking for Farmacia Las Américas. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. They have uh, them. Compare with, with Farmacia San Nicolás? It's the same company. No, it's different. It's different. It's different. Because I think that, that the, the expansion of Farmacia Las Américas is not too fast. And Farmacia San Nicolás, Farmacia Sun, and Farmacia Económica. Ah, uh, um, okay. Put a very fast different branches in different places of San Salvador. They have they have este cool brand branding with Farmacia La Buena too. Uh, ah okay this is um this, this Farmacia de Shapir. A co brand a co branding. Co branding, yes. Co branding with co branding. Farmacias uh, uh, what pharmacies do you do you La see? Buena. See? La Buena. La Buena. La Buena. Okay. With one, two. Okay. They have four four co branding drugstore. Four co branding. Yes, four co branding with with Farmacia La Buena. Okay. Uh, okay. And el 10 y 15 disappeared. I, I, I don't know. I, decline. I, decline. Decline. Discontinue. Uh, 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 dollar City. Because Dollar City. Uh -huh, exactly. Exactly. I don't remember the 15, but there must have been one. Do you remember the broken store? Like pick and save. Hey, pick and save. Pick and save, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. But is it the same, Luis Miguel? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I don't remember, but I, I remember... I saw many branches of this 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 store. I think it's, it's the same pick and save in Metro Centro. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, in the center of in the downtown of San Salvador is next to Brooklyn store. Do you remember that store? Brooklyn store? Yeah, mm -hmm. Brooklyn. Yeah. It's not uh, Brooklyn. No, no I don't know. New York? No. Something like that be, is when yeah. the government is building the new next. library, national library. 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 Next, uh, uh, Park Morazan. Yes. No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 For Lottery National. For. for Four blocks away of the Morazan. Mm -hmm. 
Spanish, donde están construyendo la, 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 la Biblioteca Nacional. Ajá. En esa ah, cuadra había, ajá, ya, en esa cuadra había un, un almacén bien famoso que tenía las letras en vertical, que era azul y amarillo los anuncios. No me recuerdo. Brooklyn, algo así se llamaba. Yeah, Brooklyn. Rolling in New York es el único que recuerdo. Nectu, Lotería Nacional o Librería Hispana América. Maybe. Uh -huh. This type of, of building, I remember, I, I think that I uh, want to remember Claudicara. Mm -hmm. Claudicara, I don't know this, it is. Uh, But it, it, it is still exist, I think, Tony, Claudicar. Claudicar. Yes. Oh my gosh, I need to go to the downtown. It, it, <laughs> it's two blocks away from our building, Telegrafo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Por la nueva milagrosa para abajo. Ya no estamos jóvenes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you say in, 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 in La Box? <laughs> Juice is gone. Juice is gone. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, are you ready? Um, maybe we maybe. know a lot, but I we don't mm -hmm. have the time. So many words to uh, um um. Uh, sentence or or the como se dice como algo escrito más largo que quisiera mostrar solo no estaba hablando yo you don't have like a long description mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay well don't worry let's let's actually talk about what you have but I don't know who is the one that is going to make the exposition okay but let's go all the people okay todos all right my Okay, so, well, let me see. The first team is going to be, yes, Tony's team. And then we are going to move with Carlos and Nelly and George, okay? All right. We don't have in this time a long explanation of all that, uh, all the themes that we talk about. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, strategies, but... Um, a few principal items or principal ideas that describe that we discuss. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to, to, to explain us the, the first one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we don't uh, write uh, anything about the, the Apple the strategies that apply uh, to deal with the imminent decline to Apple. And um, we say that Apple uh, don't They may, don't didn't make an action with the iPod only is still to die but uh, at this time the the revenues that represent this product is 900 millions of dollars that is too 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 good but when you have an iPod you don't need a, an iPod uh, this is the first the, the, the first discussion mm -hmm. the second is, the um, national product service um, that actually is in the in the decline stage, mm -hmm. um, and we choose a different companies. Mm -hmm. um, please help me, uh, Luis Miguel, Mayra, Wendy, and Maurice. No, no Maurice this is not with me. Yes, yes, ah, yes. Maurice was with you. Okay, Maurice, to describe show, each one, please. We we choose the biggest restaurant. We think they need make a co-work co branding with Indes, Alianza, Fast Aguila because they have a famous, very famous hamburger like La Selecta. They need to collaborate okay. with any any oh, any sport teams or only the national team because they are La Selecta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I find the 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 store Tony is the rolling almacen is rolling. Rolling. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you, Luis Miguel. Okay. Uh, Mayra, please help us with the Café de Don Pedro. That 
uh, you recognize where is the, 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 the location. Okay. We, we talk about the, the strategy the Café Don Pedro will select. Mm -hmm. uh, there is innovation because, um, how do you say, tiene mala fama? He's <laughs> <laughs> famous. Okay. They, they, they uh, are famous. <laughs> they are famous where uh, when uh, uh, se me fue la palabra. Or is famous with the drunk people. Uh, drinking them, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> and <laughs> they they pueden convertirse en pueden ser they be or they, they can be they can be in a familiar restaurant. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Not only for bolos. <laughs> okay. Then. Okay. Uh, Maurice, please help us with Farmacia Las Americas. You know, um, tiene mala fama. You, I don't know if Maurice is here, but tiene mala fama. You can say it, it has bad reputation. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it okay. has a bad reputation. Yeah. Okay. With the uh, Farmacia Las America, uh, it's called branding with the Farmacia La Buena. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this Farmacia in decline because uh, uh, the product is very uh, expensive. Mm -hmm. And he, because I ha because have a aggressive competence with uh, yeah. competitors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Farmacia San Nicolás, etc., etc., etc. Yes, many pharmacists, right? Okay. And oh, the last one. And the last one is um, a store named that 10 and 15, the 10 and 15. We know it's the same relation with the pick and say, but uh, this, this uh, store is um and in that mm -hmm. it's a it's an example of a discontinuation of the of different products right okay. now the mm -hmm. the example more uh, appreciated to this type of a store is dollar city and mm -hmm. it expands very fast very strong around all the salvador and mm -hmm. have locations in prison polls streets and avenues are or, or um, um, malls in San Salvador and um, in in all the 14 departments in, in Salvador and mm -hmm. the Pekins and Pekins State only have uh, a few um, stores a few branches uh, in all the Salvador and and with um, prices accessible in the time that they started, but in this time is more accessible uh, the dollar city. Yes. The pleasure is more. Yes, exactly. Okay, very good. I think that you actually described all of them in a good way, even though you didn't write a lot, but you explained those very well. Okay, excellent. Nelly, Carla and George. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. I I think identify identify mm -hmm. for uh, a strategy for iPod <laughs> about how iPod. Yes. Uh, I think innovation. Mm -hmm. Because the 
the iPod, uh, uh, maybe uh, yes, have a ¿Cómo sería? Yes, uh -huh. the iPod uh, had or has? No, had. Uh, uh, ever ever sell about uh, some customers uh -huh. and uh, we choose change in customer preference and this continuation because uh, the the iPhone the Apple uh, mm, didn't today the iPod. Okay. And the and lower price. Okay. <laughs> and choose a national product service and his decline a stage uh, we choose the newspaper. Okay. Uh, Nelly, you can help me. <laughs> can you help? Me? Can you help me? Very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Uh, for the newspaper, we consider uh, use uh, co-branding strategies. Um. For give uh to the customer rewards or for motivating by newspaper. Uh, for example, discount and different restaurant or a store, and uh, have the cost of subscription return for use of partnership and content innovation with new sections in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. And number three, what advantage would those strategies bring to the company? Um, one of them is the people buy the newspaper and greater demand, and the people don't lose money, and the content more in uh, it's more interesting for the customer. Okay. Okay. Something else that uh, George wants to add up? No, teacher. No. My, no, my partners. Are very good. Okay. <laughs> thank you, George. Okay, very good. Yes, guys. Okay, thank you, um, Nelly and Carla. Okay. All right, guys. So let me see. Okay, let me let's stop sharing. Mm, okay. All right, guys. Uh, just for us to remember. Okay. Mm, we discuss about lower price. Yes, we also discuss about repackaging. Yes, we also uh, talked about discontinuation. Yeah, mm -hmm. we also talk about innovation. Yes, and co-branding. Okay. Yeah, co-branding, which is I think that I don't know which one do you think it will be a good strategy for businesses, guys. Which one do you think is, is, is one of the best? It depends, teacher, mm -hmm. the kind of product, mm -hmm. the mark, and especially the, yeah. the culture of the people. Maybe mm -hmm. this is a good reason to um, study or assess the, mm -hmm. the best. Uh, strategy mm -hmm. yes it depends on the type of product it depends on the on the market right very good yes guys okay so um we are done with our class and we are done with the first week now let me just um remind you about the platform okay i have checked the platform and some of you have not started right the platform Try to work on the platform this weekend, okay? So you can go ahead and, and complete the first unit, guys. The first one, yeah? Okay, so is Fatima here? Fatima? Yes, 
Fatima Gabriela? Present go. Okay, so please stay with me, Fatima, okay? Then the other ones, thank you guys very much for connecting today. I'll see you back on Monday and I hope you have a great weekend, okay? Enjoy yourself. Bye-bye. Good, 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 Good night. Good night, guys. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night for everyone. Good night. Good night. Take care, guys. Good night. Take care, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye, Jose. Take care. Um. Well, Fatima is gone. Okay. So, bye-bye, guys. Take care. Good night, Atilio. Yes. Okay.